Hey YouTubers, welcome back for another adventure. And in this video, we're gonna go from having a completely destroyed wire harness to me showing you how to build the simplest CDI ignition system possible. This ignition system will not charge your battery, it will not run your lights, but it will get spark to your motor. And there's only one input what you need. All you need is the pulse from the pulse generator. You'll be providing your own batteries and everything else right on board. As a matter of fact, it all fits into a simple little box like this. Two by four by six. So you'll squeeze it all right into here. Anyway, stay tuned. So here we have a DC powered CDI. That's how you search it out. That's how much it costs. Um, and here's the vendor you get it from. Okay. Now, what's the difference between an AC CDI and a DC CDI? First of all, size. <laughs> and what this thing has is an onboard oscillator that takes that DC and charges up a... Um, a big capacitor and eventually it's uh, triggered when your pulse says to trigger so you could see the difference and this is really important to note I mean this is a lot you could see the DC ones a lot bigger occasionally when you're trying to buy the DC CDI they'll send you an AC one so if you have these if you get a really nice small one and you wire it all up and it doesn't work you know the vendor sent you the wrong one very common very 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 common so just be aware aware of that I want you to also notice the following difference see there are five pins in there and there's only four pins this four pin CDI box I really think it was the greatest invention of the world and now you know where to get it you know how much it costs and we could go forward from there just like with the AC CDI box, somehow you need to transmit this signal from here into the box and somehow get out of it a, um, a spark. And that's actually very, very simple. All you need is a pit bike harness. Here is the pit bike harness. And it's exactly the same one that I used to build the AC ignition box. I'm not going to go through the trouble of laying all, laying all these components out for you, but just in case anybody skipped directly to this video, there you have it. Here's all your components. You say thank you. All you do is throw away the CDI box that's for AC and you go with the DC model. So here we have the pit bike ignition system and with a couple of substitutions. First of all, I plugged in the DC CDI to it. Basically the same wiring diagram. And to hook it up, right, I plug in this ground here. And when I plug in this ground, it takes care of hooking up ground to my pulse generator. The other thing, blue and white wire, right, Hook that right to the blue and white. Now I have a pulse signal coming in, <laughs> assuming that it's plugged in. Now I have a pulse signal coming into my CDI unit. This connector here, which is normally your on and off switch, black and white, notice it goes to nothing. So you could just let it swing in the breeze. Not important. The other connections. This is would be 12 volts worth of batteries. Notice the neutral goes into ground or the negative goes into ground. And when I hook this up here, right, now I would be powering up the whole situation. You kind of want to put a switch here, right? I mean, if not, you're going to drive until you run out of gas. And then next time, after you put gas in it, you're going to discover your batteries are dead. So, you hook this up, it's all ready to spark. All you need to do is go by with, um, you know, kickstarting or engaging your starter. All you need to go by is that little magnet there and you're all good. 
instead of use, using this 12 volts, you can use the 12 volts of your quad, right? If your quad has a battery in it. This situation is really handy for troubleshooting. So what I did is I just put it all in one box. And once I did that, it just makes it so easy. I just go and I clamp the red wire to the pulse generator, blue and yellow. I go one wire green to ground. Um, as you can see, like this guy has a separate ground. And the other wire I just clamped to the case. So, looks like my batteries are about to go. I want to thank everybody for dropping by to watch and comment and subscribe. Got a big, big deal cooking for tomorrow. Hopefully I can get out there and do it. So, remember, feet down, heads up, and get out and enjoy each and every day. Bye now.